Come on. Oh, I wanted her. Oh, whoa, look at that double legend. We have 200 gold dice to open. We're on the test server. They finally got it back to us. We're able to play through the test server. And my plan is to get everybody up to level 90. I don't think I need to take them to 70 and test them out. I think level 90 is a really good start because then at level 90, we can test out Wild stage 20. Use a whole bunch of units there. We can take units that we have right now at level 90 and test them for the Vortex boss to try to get 3 million. Units like the Rares and Epics or use Erich. The legendary guy that we're going to get once we beat this final boss, I'm assuming pretty soon. So I'm kind of going to emulate what my account is at right now because this is where we've been for quite a while. Level 90, trying to get the epic gear, only using some limited epic gear, and then using heroes that are available to a lot of us out there. Because not everybody has all these legendaries. Not at all. So if you're using some choice legendaries to get through some content at level 90, then... We need to make it accessible for everybody out there. And we do get him. Like, everybody gets him. Then we place him with the wild rare girl that procs wild quite a lot to go into the vortex boss. And see what his damage can get up to. See if it's worth it. And if his damage will really pump out enough that we can all get excited for when we finally get him. See what his damage is like to bring him into other content too. We'll do that as well. But the fire girl, wherever she's at, she's the one that gets a 60% chance to proc wild with her moves instead of 30 so it's really high proc rate. That'll help him out, and he'll start to do a lot more damage. Let's get into these summons. Hopefully, out of 200, I get some nice, nice legendaries and all the epics. I want all the rares. I want all the epics to play around with. And then, of course, you know, we need some of those legendaries. We need to look at the legendaries. We need to start doing some real tier lists and see who the best of the best are out there. And even if they're not the best... Maybe they're just really good for certain content in the game. We've got plenty of those in all other games out there. They might not be the best hero in the world, but they might get you through that one dungeon. Like, easily get you through that one dungeon, and that's what I want to find. Those type of heroes. Come on. We got a 3%. 3% chance for a legendary. Okay, give me all those epics. There we go. We got a lot of dice. I'm going to skip through this. Okay, nice epic. I don't have this guy yet on my main account, so I'm not exactly sure what he does, but we're going to find out everything now. Now I'm going to start to go through all the heroes with a real fine tooth comb and memorize everything they do and really start working on... Is that legendary? No. <laughs> really start working on uh, making sure we get a detailed tier list and that I know everything about all these heroes. Of course, I know all the heroes on my main account right now, but until we got this test server, I wasn't really going to go hard into all the heroes yet. But now that we get to play them, test them all out. You let me know your ideas below as well. Tell me in the comments below if you have some heroes that you just absolutely think that they're underrated. Nice. Okay, we've got this. Okay, we've got Brody and Vorash, which is amazing. So damn good. We've got her on my account as well. She's a really great for PvP. And this is the rare that they give us in the beginning. So I'm not a big fan of him that summons the Vulture, but maybe on a summons team. But most summons team, I, I see that it says undead summons that you get a boost to and he, i don't think that's a dead that's not a dead vulture here we go first legendary hey i've seen a lot of people have this monk poison dps sir it'll be good it'll be good for us to test him out because we can we have the resources on this account to bring him up and test him out where other people right now aren't really trying to test some of these heroes out like this one i don't think i've seen him i haven't seen him mainstream anywhere but i know a couple people in discord who do have him and they said they're going to eventually bring him up Myself, I love support heroes. In any game you play, any turn-based gacha game, any gacha game you play, it's usually the legendary support heroes that can push you past content the most. Those DPS, like the pure DPS ones are fun and they're really good at in-game, more so in in-game than progressing through content. But when you're trying to progress through content, you get those legendaries that are just amazing support that give you survivability or maybe revive your whole team, do anything crazy like lock down the opposing team, those are the ones that I really like to play with as far as progressing through content. Going through Fae Wild, those are going to be amazing. Just coming up in the account so we can get to end game. Any of those legendaries like that will be the best to me instead of just a pure DPS. And then we can have fun with the pure DPS once we're at end game trying to minimize, maximize, and get everything done. Now, I did have access. We all had access to a... The, the content creators had access to a test server prior to this one. And it wasn't doing well. They had to get rid of it and give us a new test server. This is the new one now. But on the old one, when I was summoning, I got 12 legendaries out of 200. I started out with two legendaries on my very first five pull. It was insane. Two legendaries 
right away. It was the mushroom guy who looks amazing. Hey, another legendary. Let's go. I can't remember who else it was. It was the toadstool guy. You know, the mushroom. His model is amazing looking. And someone else. I don't remember who. There he is. Okay, it's him. Tolwer. Yeah, it was this guy. I actually didn't have a lot of fun with him because he took a while to get his ultimate up to where his mushroom would start provoking. But now we get to test out everything with him. All right, give me another one. Some more legendaries. Come on. 35, we're guaranteed to get, you know, if we don't get a legendary at 35, we're guaranteed to get a legendary, but we don't want to do that. 3%, we should be able to hit pretty good. Watch me get nowhere near the 12 I got previously. <laughs> we're at 155. We already got two. I think we're okay. We're on track. And I don't think the event's up on the test server for us to get a guaranteed one at 80. Let's see here. It should be right here if it is available. Okay, no legendary here. It'll be... Yeah, I don't see it up. Maybe if I wait a day, it'll come up. I can't wait. We got to keep going. We'll get to it eventually. If it does come up, we'll try to get some more summons on here. And get some more heroes. I skipped past. Okay, sweet. We got Dane. He's a beast. I love playing that guy. Oh. 3%. Give us the goodies. Give us all those uh, those meta ones that everybody wants, right? And I had the ice girl too. I had her. What's her name? Uh, I can't remember. Heck, heck something. I had her on the test account. The one who does the ice freeze on the whole, the whole, the whole map gets like frozen in ice, and then she executes people and she does the damage. I had the mermaid one who can do like blind people, fifty percent chance to blind when she comes into combat, and really good support hero as well. So I had all those in the previous one. But I'm not, I'm not seeing him here. 135 left. Plenty more to go. You keep thinking you're going to see gold because you see that gold come out from the dice. Yeah, that's a cool epic. I haven't got a chance to play with all, you know, all these right here. These, these excite me. Like the epics because more people have access to these epics than legendaries. It gets me excited to be able to play all of them. We'll be able to get some of the artifacts as well, like a lot of the epic artifacts. And even on my free-to-play account, I have three epic artifacts. I've actually, I think I only have eight, eight epics total on my account, but I have gotten multiples to be able to get those epic artifacts. So I already have three, which is really cool. Because the legendary ones are hard to get as free-to-play. You got to get a duplicate copy of a legendary to get those. All right, another Lego. Ah. I'm not a big fan of her. I'm actually not a huge fan of her, but maybe after we test her out, that'll maybe it'll change my mind. It's accuracy. I think she does like a, what? Accuracy lead or decrease the accuracy of the enemy. Something to do with decreasing accuracy, but maybe she's also a really good DPSer. It just didn't look like it. Her kit didn't look like it was anything that I need right now, you know? Cheers, everyone. Hope you're having luck on your main accounts. With some summons. Okay, nothing here. Just another epic. Let's pass, pass this quickly. Come on. Give us some love. This has nothing to do with the, with the normal account. You guys know this is a test account. It is not linked to anything live, so it doesn't affect anything that you guys do, anything with my regular account. But don't worry, this is just for the content creators to be able to test out content and bring out, bring out new content to you guys more often. If I, if I can get some damn legendaries. Okay, so we almost opened 100 and we got three, right? Nope. Let's get past that. Yeah, three for a hundred. That's the three percent. All right, I'm not even looking to see if they're legendary now. I'm just clicking past it. Come on. Oh, I wanted her. Oh, whoa, look at that double legendary. Let's go. All right. This is nice. Very nice. Man, you love to see that. Woo. Now I'm excited. Let 
Maybe if we do it, it'll just pop some more. Come on, give me some more doubles. Let's go. <laughs> nope. Yeah, we're going to be at 35 pretty soon on this bunch. Okay, no dupe legendaries. No matter what you do, do not give me a dupe. We should be close to 35, really. Uh, this might be... This might be it. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. This is cool. Good support here, all right? Not working. Where I can click on it from here. Hmm. I think we went through 35 to get him, though. Not happy about that. Oh, another one! Let's go! The horseman! <laughs> back to back, right? That wasn't bad at all. Hey, look at this! Man, and it's a dupe of that girl that we were talking about earlier that I'm not too excited about. It's okay. That means we can get a legendary artifact. And now, I don't know what this does... Well, it means we can make her stronger as well. So, <laughs> I know this is the guy with the big cannon, right? With Radiant. We'll be able to test him out. Okay, it's picking up. It's picking up. Come on, let us go out with a bang. 35 left, so you know we're guaranteed to at least get one more before we head out. Sweet epic. Mm. Getting close. Come on. RNG. The RNG gods. Give it to me. Nice epic there. All, all dupes, though. Okay, we've already gotten them. There we go. Oh, man. This, this guy. This looks like a true Skaven. If you've ever seen Warhammer Fantasy, this guy looks just like it. So good. The model's amazing. I don't know about his abilities yet, but the model is amazing. All right, we got one last five pull. We'll have to see how many legendaries this is. One more, one more. Support defense. Oh, I guess not. Okay, well, we can just look here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Last time I got 12, so we're a little shy. A little shy of that. That's all right. looks like we've got a lot of epics to play around with, a whole bunch of epics that I don't have on my main account, so that makes it great. I really hope we unlocked all the rares or close to it. I'm not sure with that many dice... Would we unlock all the rares? We'll be able to see right here. And there's a lot of, there's going to be a lot of epics still that I'm missing, right? Her, that's the top off girl. And I actually summoned her twice on my free to play account. We're missing these two, this guy. So not many epics at all. And rare wise, come on, let me have everything rare. Okay, I think we're there. Yeah, yeah, great. We've got all the rares, so we can try at level 20 Fey Wild. We can go and test out the debuff remover and see if she'll work. And then we can look for other ones that have like a resistance lead and use resistance. Because on my main account, I do have a resistance lead on an epic that I could use to do Fey Wild 20 with if I don't want to wait to level up. Like I can rank five my heroes in a day or two anyways and really get stronger and blow past that stage 20 of Fey Wild. Or I could try to get past it right now if I want to do like high resistance. And there's this one epic that I do have, a fire one, who will give us resistance. I've got this one of 40 already. And from what I understand, all we need is around 100 resistance, and it'll be a pretty easy battle. So we can test all that out. That's all I've got, guys. Give me some ideas down below if there's some heroes that you want to test out. If you see some heroes that I have on my roster that you want to see in some kind of uh, scenario, like what dungeon you want to see them in, or maybe you want to see them against the Vortex boss, let me know. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you all in a video soon.